Today we partnered with the Center for Black Culture at West Virginia University and we've seen so many students and staff come through um, and what we have on display today is American history through the lens of the black experience. The homage exhibit pulls from the private collection of my husband and myself and we're based out of North Carolina um, and today has just been amazing uh, working with the Mountaineers and the Mountaineer community. Hello, my name is Tysa James. I visited the homage exhibit today and it was very interesting, very emotional and very educational and I learned a lot. I learned about the Million Man March and I also got some pictures. You guys should check it out. <laughs> my name is Kayla and I really enjoyed seeing like every single like realm of like how far things have come. It's, it wasn't just focused on one separate like topic, it was everything you could possibly think of. <laughs> um. My name is Pat Sumnick. My favorite part of the exhibit today, honestly, you know, I don't want to sound cliche, but it was the whole thing. Um, just seeing all the different aspects of black history that you don't normally get to see. Um, just the things, man, I was reading things from 1956, you know, even all the way back to the 1800s and seeing articles from the news about slave ships and, you know, just the pieces of history that aren't covered in the textbooks. Um, got to see a little bit of early Greek life um, on campuses and, you know, just really seeing everything that, that they have in this exhibit was, was my favorite part. <laughs> Hi, my name is Anna Riddle. I'm the Senior Program Coordinator for Project 168. And my favorite part of the exhibit was the Charleston Courier. My name is Vienna Windisch, and my favorite part of the exhibit is that I was able to learn more about black history through seeing actual tangible historical artifacts.